Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at what's inside the gimbal. So, as you guys may remember, so I had the crash of the first up here. So, I decided to take the gimbal apart, the top gimbal, and see what was inside there and see what I could do with it. And it uh, turned out to be a little bit more interesting than I thought. So, one of the things, how did I open up the gimbal? Well, first off, let's start by... Um, it actually has a ridge inside that this cover snaps or, or is glued to, if you will. So what I did is I took a Japanese saw and lightly went around the edges and cut the edges and then took a regular screwdriver and popped it off. So uh, it actually came off there pretty good, but you have to be careful, obviously. You don't want to cut too deep in there. What did I find inside? Well, I actually found that there's two boards. So the one I believe is some sort of, uh, or part of the OSD, the on-screen display. Uh, because you remember we have inputs from the control board, or the main board, uh, the control board, and then an output to the transmitter, the FPV transmitter. And then the bottom board is your atypical gimbal board down here, the second board. Now it seems to receive power from here and here. It has another white wire here which I haven't, you know, looked at where all these wires go to yet. And then it's got a red and a black that go here from this, this daughter board on top. So apparently power comes here. Um, one of these wires is going to be the signal, obviously, for the tilt of the gimbal. And then uh, I'm not sure what the other two are for. <coughs> Excuse me. We also have here... I've taken the back off the camera so you can see what's inside here also. So you see this connector here with all these wires and you can see they terminate to this board uh, also. And this looks like a typical chip for um, uh, mixing the video signals. So uh, I think that's what's happening actually on this board is the video signals are being mixed and it's also some sort of pass-through or control for the, the gimbal board uh, beneath it. Uh, I think it's probably more than likely a pass-through, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, you notice it has a micro USB port in the front. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch this cover out, put it back on so I can access it. Because what I've done, and you probably can't see it here, however, um, I've actually loaded up the driver. And I'll put links to the drivers and stuff. But I've also loaded the simple uh, BGC GUI for controlling the gimbal. Now, the gimbal is powered, the logic state of the gimbal is powered uh, because I have the USB plugged in, but the actual motors are not. And this is one of the reasons we're seeing the roll states the way they are here. But it does read the firmware. It is connected on COM4. Um, and I can flash the firmware, I can change the firmware, and it is reading the output, but it's also complaining it's not connected to the I2C uh, bus either, because again, this is not powered on um, and connected to the logic. So this is actually very encouraging, because I think what I'm going to do is, is actually on the newer up air, actually mod it also, uh, so I can update the firmware. Now again, I'll put these couple links below. Uh, what you need to do is if you're going to do this, is obviously make the... Uh, USB port over here accessible. You'll need to load the driver first. Again, I'll have the link down below. And then you'll need to install the simple uh, BGC GUI. And again, from the same place, you can get the uh, updated firmware that this board actually uses. It just uses, I think, the open source uh, firmware to drive the gimbal. Um, so this is all very interesting. And so I plan on, because one of the things you've seen in my last video, the new up air, the gimbal is kind of wanky on it. And I think I'm going to try fixing it via this route and see what happens if the laptop doesn't go to sleep here. So anyways, I wanted to share this so you guys could see what it looks like. Um, you know, so there it is again. And, and um, also I could probably salvage this whole thing um, because what, the other thing I want to point out is you can see here how this is mounted how the camera is actually mounted to the, I'm going to make sure you get it in frame, uh, to the, the gimbal itself. So I could actually remove this and actually 3D print another uh, mount to go on here and replace this camera with something else. So I, I am not stuck with this camera if I don't want to be, uh, so I can have other options. Um, I could probably also... Um, retrofit another camera to this too which would be really cool because one of the things I wanted to point out and I need to flip this over so I don't lose the screws um, is as I mentioned before in another video there's a weight in here now the one thing I've noticed 
is, and you kind of see there's stops here, and you can kind of adjust this. One of the other things that I may do is make an adjustable weight piece uh, to kind of balance this out a little bit better. Because one of the things I noticed my newer uh, up air is a little bit balanced better than this. Because I'm sure in China they just simply put some glue, slap it in there in general, and, and you know, it is what it is without really strong alignment. Because again, the idea is you want to get this as, as well balanced as you possibly can with the weight so the motors aren't working so hard because if the motors keep having to work you're going to get jiggle and shake because uh, it's going to create a very tight feedback loop or it runs the potential let's say of creating a very tight feedback loop in the circuit because it's going to be measuring where's my position oh okay adjusting where's my position adjusting you sort of get the picture and if it has to do it at a very high frequency because it's constantly trying to compensate or overcompensate then is where you hit a problem you also notice there's some pretty lights down here blinking, which are pretty. Um, but again, pretty straightforward all, all this is. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I think we'll be able to do some mods. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, oops, subscribe button is going to be coming over there. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. A lot more coming. Hit me up in the comments below if you have questions. And hey, we'll see you in the next video because I am going to be doing some more mods on this. So look forward to those videos coming shortly. Cheers.